Okay, so welcome to Math Story, and let's solve this problem. So given equation of an ellipse, then find the coordinates of center, foci, vertices, and co vertices. So from this given equation, so first, we need to group all x and all y. So from the given equation, we group all x. So we have this 16 x squared then minus 224x then for y's so we have 25y squared then plus 250y then equal so we need to transpose this negative 191 to the right side so this becomes positive 191 then we need to factor out the coefficient of x squared and y squared, then simplify. So we need to put these numbers on x squared and y squared outside, then simplify. So to factor out 16, so put 16 outside. So this becomes x squared, then minus this 224x divided by 16. So, 224 divided by 16, that's 14. So, minus 14, then x, then plus for y, so factor out 25, so put 25 outside. So, this becomes y squared, then plus, so this 250 divided by 25. So, 250 divided by 25, that's 10. So, plus 10y, then equals 191. Then, do completing the square. So, in completing the square for x, so just take the coefficient of x, this one is 14. Then, divide by 2. Take the squared. So 14 divided by 2. This one is 7. Then to the power 2. So 7 squared. This one is 49. Then for y. So take the coefficient of y. That's 10. Then divide by 2. Take the squared. So 10 divided by 2. This one is 5. And 5 squared is 25. Then we need to add these numbers to x and y. So from this equation, we have 16. Then x squared minus 14x then plus. So for x, we need to add 49. Then plus 25. Then we have this y squared plus 10y, then plus 4y, plus 25, then equals 191. Now, take note that the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Since we add 49 on the left side, but since we have this 16 outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers, then add, to the right side. So therefore this one is plus 16 times 49. Then the other one since we add 25 for y but since we have this 25 outside so we need to multiply these two numbers then add to the right side. So plus 25 times 25. Then after this one, apply factoring and simplify. So we have this 16 then times factors of x squared. This one is x times x. Then since this one is negative, so minus and factors of 49, the 7 times 7. So we have now x minus 7, then to the power 2. Then plus 25. Then for y, so factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is positive, so plus 
factors of 25, that's 5 times 5, so we have y plus 5, then to the power 2. Then equals, so this one is 191, then plus this 16 times 49, so 16 times 49, that's 784. So plus 784. Then plus this 25 times 25. So 25 times 25, that's 625. So plus 625. Then simplify, so that's 16, then x minus 7 to the power 2 plus 25, then y plus 5 to the power 2, then equals, so we need to add all these numbers, so we have 191 plus 784 plus 625, that's 1,600. So equals 1,600. Then the last one, so the right side must be equal to 1. So to make this equation equal to 1, so we need to divide every term by this number. So divide by 1,600. So every term, so we have now 1,000. 600 and divide by 1,600. So therefore, this 16 divide by 1,600, so divisible by 16. So 16 divide by 16, this one is 1. So we have x minus 7 squared in over, and this 1,600 divide by 16. So we have 1,600 divided by 16, that's 100. So therefore over 100. Then plus, so this one is divisible by 25. So 25 divided by 25, that's 1. So we have now y plus 5, then to the power 2, then over. So this 1,600 divided by 25. So 1,600 divided by 25. That's 64. So therefore over 64. Then equals, this one is equal to 1. So this is now the standard equation of this ellipse. Now take note that in a standard equation, a squared is always greater than b squared. So therefore, in the denominator, the bigger denominator is a squared and the other one is b squared. Since the denominators is 164 and 100 is greater than 64, so therefore, this 100 is a squared, and this 64 is b squared. Then since a squared is the denominator of x squared, so therefore, this ellipse is in horizontal form. Since horizontal, so these are now the formulas to solve for the center the vertices, the foci, and the co vertices. But first, we need to find the values for A, B, C, H, and K. So to solve for H and K, so H and K, since we have this X minus H, then in the standard equation, this one is minus 7, so therefore, H is equal to positive 7. And for k, since this one is positive 5, so therefore k is negative 5. So k is negative 5. Then to solve for a, 
since we have this 100 is equal to a squared, so to solve for a, so we have a squared is equal to 100, so to solve for a, take the square root, so a is equal to 10. And to solve for b, since b squared is equal to 64, so to solve for b, we have b squared is equal to 64, then take the square root, so therefore b is equal to 8. And to solve for c, using this formula, that c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Then substitute now the values. So we have now a squared is uh, 10 squared minus b squared. We have 8 squared, so a and b. So 10 squared, this one is 100. Then minus 8 squared, this one is 64. And 100 minus 64, this one is 36. So this one is c squared. Then to solve for c, take the square root. So therefore, c is equal to 6. Since we have now all the values, so we have the h, the k, the a, the b, and the c. So we can solve now the center, the vertices, the foci, and the co-vertices of this ellipse. So to solve for center, so we have the center, that's h and k, since h is 7 and k, that's negative 5. So therefore, center is 7 and negative 5. Then for vertices, so from this formula, h plus minus a, so h is 7, then plus minus a, a is 10, then k, k is negative 5. Then we need to separate this equation, so we have this 7 plus 10, negative 5, and the other one, this 7 minus 10, and negative 5. Then simplify, so 7 plus 10, this one is 17, then negative 5. So this one is the first vertex, and the other one, 7 minus 10, this one is negative 3, then negative 5, and this one is the other vertex. Then for the foci, so we have this uh, foci. So, formula for the foci, so we have h plus and minus c, so that's 7, then plus and minus c, c is 6, then k, that's negative 5. Then we need to separate this equation, so we have 7 plus 6, then negative 5, and the other one, 7 minus 6, then negative 5. Then simplify, so this 7 plus 6, this one is 13, then negative 5, so this one is the focus, and the other one, 7 minus 6, this one is 1, then negative 5. This one also the focus, so these are the coordinates of the foci. And the last one, the covertex or the covertices. So we have this formula H that's 7, then K plus and minus B. So we have this negative 5, then plus and minus B is 8. Then simplify. So we have this uh, 7, then negative 5 plus 8. And the other one, 7, then negative 5, minus 8, then simplify. So we have 7, then negative 5 plus 8. This one is a positive 3. So this one is the covertex, and the other one, 
So we have this 7, then negative 5, negative 8. This one is negative 13. So these are the coordinates of the co-vertices. So this is how to solve this problem.